What's going on guys? My name is Palpatine Briggs and today I'm coming at you with a good Have video. A look at some of the 20th anniversary Lego Star Wars. This is the 10 year anniversary and seeing exactly which version of the anniversaries is now better. The 20th anniversary is definitely more detailed than a lot of more things I will be talking but about. the 10 year anniversary is definitely a more nostalgic and rare Lego Star Wars wave that a lot of people don't have currently. But let's take a look at the 2010 models first, seeing exactly what was in that wave and why it's such a special 10th anniversary of these sets as you can see there's a couple cool sets here on the table let's take a look at them right now and see what's as up. we know this was the lego star wars wave of 2009 which marked the 10 year anniversary of lego star now, we can wars. definitely see that from this little silver logo of a chrome darth vader here in the corner where it says 1999 to 2009 now, technically this lego star wars wave had eight different unique sets with one being a two-in-one which I don't have on this table it's in my collection I can't find it and a snow set which is on the screen right now but I don't find it in my collection either it's somewhere built and I cannot find it we had one two three medium-sized sets then we had one and two and then three meat even smaller sets, one poly bag and a three in one released now, in Europe. All these sets vary in differences. For example, the 7754 Home Calamari had limited edition sign. The Tantive 4 had an anniversary edition little writing there in the corner, which the other ones don't. The Scale Millennium Falcon didn't even have the original Lego logo as the 2009 models. They had the newer 2010. Uh, marks in the corner there, which I don't know why and it also didn't have the little logo there Some of them don't some of them do so that's still a part of this little version well, Let's here. take a look at each of these sets from smallest to largest and see exactly what we got in now, this Starting way. us off for 2009. This was the promotional 10 year anniversary poly bag Which actually has a different style there in the corner Lego Star Wars 10 year anniversary 1999 to 2009 now this was a chrome Darth Vader and a little bit of a story here all of the sets that were released in 2009 with this little logo in the corner actually had a hidden chrome Darth Vader in some of the sets. So you could be lucky and get one of these in one of those sets. But now, unfortunately, this set retails for almost $700 to $1,000 for this poly bag if you were to get it today. And it does have the original logo there in the corner, which the Millennium Falcon you'll see doesn't have. Now, the second set on this list would have been the Hoth Little Attack, which I don't have in my collection somewhere. I don't know why. It's somewhere in there, but I can't find it. This is the 7778 MIDI Scale Millennium Falcon. Now, this put us in a MIDI Scale Little kind of wave of sets such as the star destroyer later on not many of these sets you were created you can see that it was definitely new in 2009 it's saying all new the set itself scale. was pretty nice it's nothing too fussy it doesn't have any minifigures or anything like that it does have the different box art for some the reason the back of the model just shows the pieces exactly how and which ones they are which people could just order on bricklink and a little picture of the millennium falcon flying with the death star now the, the fourth there. set is the 8017 darth vader's tie fighter don't know why it says TIE Fighter, should say TIE Advanced, because it is a TIE Advanced. This had a Chrome Darth Vader in it, if you do open it up, but my mine is sealed, so I'm not going to open it up. It is really nice and sleek. I do really like these old boxes with all the little pictures at the back, with the official battle packs in the background. Which, by the way, if you guys want to subscribe and like to my video before we go any further in my video, please make sure I will have more videos about battle packs, briquettes, and a lot of different things in the coming weeks. Of course, it had those little pictures of those little features of the ship itself, folding of wings, shooting of stud shooters, putting the lightsaber underneath, and opening up the little hat. Now, the fifth set on this list is the 10198 1484 now this set is one of my favorites it does say anniversary edition there we have the a board. very expensive captain antilla's minifigure princess leia c3pr r2d2 and rebel trooper now this had a lot of inconsistencies for example there was a smooth hair layer that was released in the set back in the day so you could either get two and you could also get a chrome darth vader in one of these sets as well so all of them that had this little logo you had a chance to find a chrome Darth Vader in them if you were lucky but of course we did I do have a chrome 
uh, Darth Vader and a Princess Leia with smooth air, which is really important for my collection. This set was pretty expensive up until Lego Star Wars did release one of the newer versions of this Tantiv. At the background, we do have a little escape pod there. Then we have a Rebel Trooper coming out in another escape pod sort of thing and the backside of the actual model. This is nothing too special. I do love this a lot and it does have a little interior there at the front. It's a really cool set. Well, let's take a look on the next one, which is one of my one of my favorites, probably one of my first ever Lego Star Wars sets I ever had in my entire life. I remember playing with this set. This was one of the most fun sets to play with. It included an ATST Walker, a bunch of minifigures, including Leia, Han Solo, some Ewok troopers, and then we got some Scout troopers. And of course, we've got an Imperial Guard in there. This is a really cool set. You could shoot catapults from these stones, a little Ewok flying there, ATST, a lot of cool different things. This is also a part of the 10th year anniversary set sets so this is the battle of Endor. zero three eight seven of gray pieces and a lot of green pieces around including the atst walker in the set which is and pretty the back cool. of the model shows a lot of these little Showing features how the atst walker turns shoots and walks the front doors of the Endor base actually close and open up the actual thing opening up and making a little square and a little base now the last set on this list is the home one moon calamari star cruiser the set number seven seven five four it's one of my favorite it's actually it's a limited edition lego star wars model there it says and it does have a lot of cool minifigures including admiral akbar mon calamari mon mantha lando calarizian a general mandine and an a-wing pallet included an a-wing a-wing landing pad and a little room there it's a really cool set. I do appreciate this set a lot. It's a really cool set. Uh, it's still a 10th year anniversary LEGO Star Wars set, which is pretty cool. Other than that, it doesn't have much to now, it. Now, 10 years later, LEGO Star Wars releases another wave of 20th anniversary sets this time, which has a unique look for all of these sets. It's a much different Compared agenda. Compared to the 10th year anniversary, which was kind of a flop, to be honest, this wave was definitely much better. In this wave, we got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven and three polybags. So it was an increase in Lego Star Wars sets overall, but the size definitely shrunk, but there's a lot of cool different sets and minifigures in this way within itself. Starting off with the Slave One, the 75243 Slave One. Now, this was a very highly anticipated Lego Star Wars set. It included a 2000s Princess Leia, but all these minifigures at the back had a 20th anniversary printing, so it weren't the actual models of the Lego set, which is unfortunate, but it did have a little plaque and the 20th anniversary layer. It had five minifigures, which is pretty cool. And all of these boxes had this silver marking around it, which signifies the 20th anniversary Lego Star Wars The next set. one, which is a... 100%, we knew this was going to be a release. A 20th anniversary Anakin's Pod Racer. It undermines the actual lego star wars whole thing and it also includes a Lo luke skywalker 1999 collectible minifigure which is two minifigures so far in this wave which you can collect and collect now the them third all. set here was our introduction to bus here it's a darth vader bus now this was a star wars celebration exclusive as well as a target exclusive so Australians definitely did not have the availability to actually get this set, but it is a 20th anniversary LEGO Star Wars set, so we needed the to third, get it. And, sorry, fourth set on this list, which is actually one of my favorites. It's a Clone Scout Walker, and it includes a 1999 Darth Vader, which is pretty cool. I do love this set a lot. It's a really nice set, and this goes for a pretty penny Moving right on, now. we had our battle pack, which was a fan favorite battle pack. It was a Stormtrooper battle pack or Imperial Dropship, and included a 2000s hand solo collectible minifigure which is really the next cool. set was a may 4th exclusive now this was free if you ordered and purchased lego style sets over a certain amount which this didn't include a collectible minifigure like the other ones it did include a collectible plaque there in the corner and it had a little set there which is pretty cool the seventh set on this list was a Snow Speeder 20th Anniversary with a Lando Calrissian figure from 2003. So it was the 10123 Lego Star Wars Calrissian minifigure, but obviously it does have the 20th Anniversary printed on the back, so it's not going to be worth the same amount. 
Now coming to the three poly bags, which are considered not sets. This looks like the original snow speeder ever made, which is pretty cool for 20th anniversary battle pack. Then we had a Anakin's pod racer for 20th anniversary, nothing too cool. But last but not least, we had an OB1 to Phoenix Chop the collection for the 20th anniversary minifigures. So that brings a total of six collectible minifigures, including Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Han Solo, Lando, and finally, Obi-Wan. Now, let me know in the comments what you guys think comparing the 10th to 20th anniversary LEGO Star Wars sets. I pretty much enjoy the 20th anniversary sets. The 10 years are very much exclusive and really nostalgic, as you can see. And the sets were much bigger, but I do really like the 20th anniversary's collectible minifigures. Thank you so much for enjoying my video. Make sure to like and subscribe to Palpatine Bricks for more collection videos like this. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.